Now, if we, if we are happy with our validation, if everything went okay, so instead of our if object valid is valid a statement, uh, we can now process uh, the posted values, add them to the database, send the, send the activation email and redirect a visitor, our new client, to the new page, which will tell them that the registration has been successful or if it wasn't, that uh, obviously the registration has failed. So first of all, what we're going to do, is we're going to add hash for activating account. So object valid, post, and we give it an index of hash. Post because obviously inside when we run a is valid method, if we go back to our validation uh, class, we close the browser. If we check for our is valid method, is valid. There we go. First of all, we call process method, and the process method what it does is it basically uh, loops through the array of all post fields and adds them all it adds the values plus their keys into the post array which is a public array if we look at our properties post is a public so that means that we can call it outside of the class so now we add in a hash we're generating a hash and we add in to this array uh, the new value with the index of hash and this value will consist of empty rand uh, PHP function which basically generates the random number then uh, date current date but in the format year month day hour uh, second and millisecond basically sorry our minutes and seconds sorry okay and then we have empty random again and that's going to be our, our uh, basically unique hash generated on a go okay then we obviously need to add this hash uh, uh sorry add registration date so object valid post we we add into our post array as well date and the date will be helper set date method now we haven't got the static method inside of the helper class yet, but we will work on this uh, very soon. So don't worry about it for now. Let's move to the next line, which will uh, basically be our if statement. If object user at user, another method which we'll create in just a second, we're passing object valid post. So all our fields uh, which has been already filtered through the validation class, then object form get post password. And we're not converting password here at all because this converted password is already inside of the post. By convert, I mean obviously uh, it's converted by th through the use of the PHP hash uh, function, but we also need the the normal static representation uh, before it has been converted because we obviously will be sending this password to the user himself uh, as a static uh, password so that they can basically see what it is um, so if it uh, is successful if our add user method uh, has been successful then we want to redirect the visitor helper redirect to the page for its slash question mark page equals registered a semicolon at the end else if for some reason oops sorry if for some reason our registration wasn't successful if we couldn't add the record to the database then we're going to put registered failed page now if we copy these two names open our browser go to our pages folder and create these new files registered.php and registered failed.php okay 
Now, inside of the register.php, uh, let's include our header first, require once, underscore header.php, copy the line, oh, sorry, copy the line, paste it underneath, we need the footer here, then in between the tags, h1 registered, and some message, something like, thank you for registering with us. The new line in order to, oh, to process, uh, to proceed actually, you have to activate your account by clicking on the link which we have sent uh, we have sent you by email okay i think that's most probably i've made a few mistakes here as well but don't worry about it uh okay so that's our registered let's copy the entire thing paste it inside of the registration fail registered failed file and here we're going to obviously type registration failed. There was a problem processing your regis re registration full stop new line. Please try again later. Okay, save it and close it. And that's all we need to hear from these two files. So if we go back to our page, in the next video, we're going to have a look at our set date static method inside of the helper class.